how Namdekano caused the tragic death of 60 people, according to Lev G. How Kano caused the tragic death of 60 people, according to Lev G. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read as I read today's news. In 2021, Nigerian witnessed a significant event that dominated national and international headlines. The rearrest of Namdekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, who, according to the federal government, caused the death of over 60 people. This development was not just another law enforcement operation. It represented a major moment in the ongoing tensions between the Nigerian government and separatist movement in the southeastern region of the country. Namdekanu's arrest, the charges against him, and the broader implications of this case provide a deep insight into the intricate dynamics of Nigerian politics, security, and ethnic relations. Unamdekanu a British Nigerian political activist became a prominent figure in Nigerian's political landscape through his leadership of IPOP, a group advocating for the independence of Biafra. Biafra, which sought independence from Nigeria in the late 1960s, was the epicenter of a brutal civil war. That lasted from 1967 to 1970. Although the war ended with Biafra's defeat and its reintegration into Nigeria, the sentiment of marginalization and desire for independence persisted among many people in the southeastern region. Kanu emerged as a vocal controversial leader using Radio Biafra, an online platform to disseminate his separatist messages. His rhetoric often included harsh criticisms of the Nigerian government an inflammatory statement that resonated with a segment of the population but also provoked significant tension. By 2017, IPOP was officially designated as a terrorist organization by the Nigerian government, a label that Kano and his supporters have consistently rejected. On Thursday, June 29, 2021, the Nigerian government, through its Minister of Information and Culture, Alahaji Lai Mohammed, announced the, the arrest of Namdi Kanu. This announcement came after years of Kanu evading the Nigerian authorities following his release on bail in 2017 after which he fled the country. The circumstances surrounding Kanu's arrest were shrouded in secrecy. 
while the government confirmed that he was apprehended in a foreign country and extradited to Nigeria. It refused to disclose the specifics of how the operation was carried out. al Hajilai Mohammed commended the effort of Nigerian security and intelligence agencies as well as international collaborators in what it described as one of the most sophisticated operations of its kind globally. According to the Nigerian government, Kano was living a luxurious lifestyle while evading arrest, frequently traveling on private jets and residing in high-end apartments. At the time of his arrest, Kano was reportedly wearing designer clothing from the Italian luxury brand Fendi. This detail was highlighted by the government to underline the disparity between Kano's personal life and his claims of fighting for the oppressed. Unam the Kano faces an 11 count charge, including allegations of treasonable felony, terrorism, and illegal possession of firearms. These charges have been heard before the Federal High Court in Abuja. The Nigerian government has accused Kano of inciting violence and orchestrating attacks across the southeastern region through his broadcast and speeches. According to the government, Kano's activities directly led to the death of 60 people and the widespread destruction of property in 55 violent incidents within a span of four months in 2021. These allegations were formally communicated to the international community in a letter dated April 26.